everybody and welcome back to Archie's Book Corner. So I already finished Wonder, but my dad just put a book book on the page that I'm going to be reading to you. But I already finished it last night and it was a great book except it has like a popular group in it. Um, like, but it didn't have that in the movie, and it didn't have their new dog, which they named Bear, in the movie, either that was in the book, so, yeah. So, when I was in my mom's stomach, no one had any idea I would come out looking the way I look. Well, I had to be a four years before, and that had been such a walk in the park. Mom's expression that there was no reason to run any special tests. About two months before I was born, the doctors realized there was something wrong with my face. But they didn't think it was going to be bad. They told mom and dad I had a cleft palate. Some other stuff going on. They called it small anomalies. There were two nurses in the delivery room the night I was born. One was very nice and sweet. The other one, mom said, did not seem at all nice or sweet. She had very big arms. And here comes the funny part. She kept biting. Like she'd bring mom some ice chips and then fart. She checked mom's blood pressure and fart. Mom says it was unbelievable because the nurse never even said, excuse me. Mimo, mom's regular doctor wasn't on duty that night. So mom got stuck with this cranky kid doctor. She that nicknamed Doogie after some old TV show or something. They didn't exactly call him that to his face, but mom says that even though everyone in the room is kind of grumpy, dad kept making her laugh all night long. When I came out of mom's stomach, she said the whole room got very quiet. Mom didn't even get a chance to look at me because the nurse, because the nice nurse immediately rushed me out of the room. But dad was in such a hurry to follow her that he dropped the video camera, which broke into a million pieces and then mom did and then mom got very upset and tried to get out of bed to see where they were going. But the farty nurse put her very big arms on mom to keep her down in the bed. They were practically fighting because my mom was hysterical and the farty nurse was yelling at her to stay calm. And then they both started screaming for the doctor. But guess what? He had fainted right on the floor. So when the body nurse saw that he had fainted, she started pushing him with her foot to get him to wake up, yelling at him the whole time. What kind of doctor are you? What kind of doctor are you? Get up, get up. And then all of a sudden, she let out the biggest, loudest, smellest fight in the history of fights. Mom thinks it was, thinks it was actually the fight that actually woke the doctor up. Anyway, when mom tells the story, she acts out all the parts, including the funny noises, and it is so, 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 so funny. So that was the part, and it's weird because it's talking about funny noises and all kinds of things, but this book was really good. We read it in class, so I knew I wanted to read it at home. Oh, hello, Bear. Did you know the dog and here? that they got is named after you. Yeah, he doesn't care. So you'd recommend the book? Yes. And the movie? Yes. It was good. I saw the movie, but I haven't read the book. Did you know you were born with a cleft palate? Well, yeah, because you told me. Oh, I didn't know if you knew or not. Yeah, you told me. Huh? Well, but it's been fixed. You told me I had to get surgery, and you told me how I would eat, then my nose, then milk would come yep. shooting milk out would come my nose. shooting out your nose sometimes, yep. Okay. Hi, Bia Bia. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the... Well, I hope you enjoyed the... Bleh. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot speak today. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bleh. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Guys, bye!